Hi, I'm Paul, the Outdoor Movie Guy, and welcome back to my channel. Um, each year, Swank Motion Pictures, who represents Disney for non-theatrical screenings, releases uh, the Disney window. The Disney window for uh, 2021 was just released, and it basically shows when Disney movies are not available for non-theatrical screenings. These typically are in uh, areas of time that uh, they have, Disney has a major movie being released uh, during those times, other titles are not available. But they break it down, so um, if it's, say, a Disney live-action movie that's coming out, only the li live-action movies are not available, all other Disney uh, products are. So we're going to have a quick look at this year's. Okay, so this is the uh, 2021 outdoor movie uh, Disney window, and uh, this is their outdoor showing one. So this is for non-theatrical releases if we look in this uh we'll go across the columns to begin with so we have disney animated we have pixar disney live action marvel and lucasfilm lucasfilm being um star wars right now you'll see here that we are in a blackout for disney animated movies um i believe that's because i think it's raya and the last dragon is is currently out um Further on in the summer, there must be a Pixar movie coming out because during these dates, um, no Pixar is available. And then right at uh, November, December, again, Disney Animated is, is not available. If we go over to Marvel, they have a lot of movies that got postponed from last year. So we have a huge window this year that uh, you won't be able to show uh, your Marvel movies at the uh, Parks and Rec movie nights, uh, pop-up drivings and this year you'll see there's no no Star Wars uh, major blackouts. There's a, a, a little cravat to that that we'll go into in a second. So what does this mean? So if I'm planning an outdoor movie event and it's running, say, March through July, I'm going to quickly come down to the next page and I have my uh, top Disney animated titles and then I have my Pixar library. So if I was trying to do an animated movie series using Pixar and Disney movies, if I go back up here, my March movie, I would not be able to use, um, say, Frozen. So I may try and move Frozen to one of these dates because during these dates, Pixar is not available. So on this first date, maybe I'll do uh, Cars, a Pixar movie, and then we can move them around so you can fill your calendar uh, with movies that are available during that time. Let's go back to the other page one more time. So you'll see um, the thing they release does have like the top. There's a lot more animated titles than this, but it does give us the top uh, animated titles, top live action, most popular uh, Pixar library, and then um, your Marvel, and then the Lucasfilm, the Star Wars. Looking at the Star Wars, you will notice that um, as of right now, Swank does not do the licensing for the original three Star Wars or the prequels, uh, but it is all the the Rogue One, Force Awakens, all of those movies. So that's that's your major thing on the the blackout window. Now we're gonna zoom in a little bit here. Bear with me one second. All right. So right here there are some additional title dates. What this means is during certain times of the year, certain titles maybe blacked out and we're gonna jump over to this one right here um during from 5-3 to 5-5 rogue one and solo are not available i'm assuming this is because that date is uh right in between is uh may 4th may the 4th be with you um people call it star wars day previous years all star wars films have been um made unavailable on that day but this year it's only two of them that are being held for that so they may be uh, a special promotion going on with them they may be released in the theater for a day but all the other star wars are available so it's always best to to double check the whole thing before planning your series planning your series out um so basically, if you are planning a movie series, this is for the USA. If, if you are planning a movie series and you're planning to do the Disney titles, 
definitely use that chart to work out exactly what you can show and when. Uh, always check with Swank as well. There may be um, in memoriam, um, maybe a famous actor has unfortunately passed away and they'll often pull all the titles that that actor was associated for as uh, part of it as a mark of respect type thing. They'll be pulled so those movies will not be available. So there's always that possibility. So working with your Swank representative is always the best thing to do. I'll add a link right below so um, you can go and find this document and you'll be able to contact Swank if you're looking to do an outdoor movie and to get movie licensing for that. If you have any questions, also just let me know below and I'll try and get to them. All right, thanks a lot. Have a good one. Cheers, bye.